Oh my god, that was crazy. That's hurt. Oh, there's two! two. There's two! Look at that, dude! What is up, MFers? Look at this all around us. Cue up the Axel Rose, Coleslaw, because we are in the damn jungle. And not only are we in the jungle with all these beautiful sticks and trees, the water's crystal clear. Look at this, Cole, you can see down like eight feet with these water lands on. Freaking crazy out here. Yesterday, if you watched the video, caught a 9.6 and a 10.1. My third and fourth biggest fish I've ever caught in my life. And we've been looking around up here the last couple of days and we're seeing some fish starting to bed up in these bushes. So uh, yeah, some crazy things are potentially gonna happen in this video. If you guys like the bed fishing videos and you like to see giant bass caught, then hit the subscribe button. I'm gonna drop it right down there below. Just click in the corner right there and subscribe. Enough of me talking though. I got my little bed fishing baits all tied on. I'm ready to freaking winch on them with this 25, 30 pound fluorocarbon line. Big rod time. Two carp, three carp eating eggs off of a bass nest. Four, those are mere carp. A couple of them more anyway. Two pounder. A lot of those. Ooh, that was a big one that just spooked out of there. Right where my worm was. There it went, right there. Look how big it is. That one was See, I thought that one was Did the one go back there? Oh, really? There's one just cruised over here. Something's under there. Unless that was me that just stirred up that grass. Here's one of them. Small. There's the other one. Don't move. Oh, here it comes. Maybe not. <laughs> Thought he was running over there to get it. Dude. I'm swinging. Oh my god, that was crazy, Cole. Now we got an issue. We got a major issue. There we go. There we go. You're right, those fish are bigger than you think they are. Mm -hmm. Go. <laughs> Well, I was waiting for this fish to go back and get locked on its bed, and I just randomly pitched as we were leaving to it, and it tried to eat it off of its bed. That's a chunk. And we've been seeing bigger ones now. I thought that was like a two-pounder. Dude, this could get fun. And this is my new favorite bed fishing bait, too. The hog wala. Deal, Cole. Good spot, you little... Get out of there. Yeah, bud. Whew. Hot one. That's just a little mayo, but we just pulled up here and I was working this and like a, I don't know, nine pounder, eight to 10 pounder female just rolled up next to him. And that's his pair. This guy likes them big. I mean, some guys like big girls. You can't, everybody needs love. And I mean, big girls need love too. I'm excited to come back here though. It's just getting a little sunny. We're gonna be here tomorrow. It's getting a little bit sunny out finally and tomorrow it's supposed to be sunny all day long. So that makes me really excited to come back to some of these spots. They're getting locked on beds, guys. There's giants. Probably was on that bed. Oh yeah, there's the male. Oh yeah, locked. Some dude the other day was saying you don't wanna catch the male first. Oh my. Rolling Cole? I'm not very accurate, Costa. Male's getting pissed. He's about to eat. Heat, dude. This Didn't one, hold him this one likes big girls too, Coleslaw. Yeah, seriously. This one's got a big old female with him. I'm excited to see how big she is because we've seen probably a handful bigger. But she's a good one. Cool, put that one in your pocket for a second. <laughs> okay, so for you experienced bed fishermen, I'm not gonna claim to be the best one in the world or anything like that, but some people say it's good to catch the male so you can get the female to bite. Some people say you don't wanna catch the male because then the female won't bite. I know every fish is different. I think that's probably what it is. They're all different, but what do you guys think? Comment below. Old female is back there now. We're having a hard time getting this fish to get locked on the bed and bite, but we've seen a ton of carp in the area eating bass eggs. So I'm gonna drop this carp swim bait on there and see if that makes her just freaking unleash the fury on it. 
or just get her fired up enough that she'll eat something else. Okay, we just spent some time up shallow cruising around and we've covered miles of shoreline looking for beds and we only found one bank that has them on it, but they're freaking loaded on it. The only problem is the big ones aren't locked on. There's a couple males up there that are completely brain dead and we literally dropped it down right in front of them right by the boat and then went up and ate it as you guys saw. But the females were not locked on. We saw some six to eight, nine, 10 pound bass even potentially cruising out away from it and then they would come back to the bed usually when they come back to the bed they'll eat and maybe they would have if we would have given it like an hour on each one but i don't have the patience for that but what i do know is if you guys watched the last video we went out and caught a nine and a ten pounder nine and it was close 9.6 right cool so it was i'm not going to count it as a 10 I didn't count it as a 10 but we caught a nine and a half and a ten pounder out offshore not super offshore out in some of the bushes and stuff like this and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna cruise around throw the little divine swim baits on the little jig heads on the a rig i know everyone hates me i'm not a sporting fisherman anyone can go out and do this with pan optics and catch big ones which that's weird because i don't see any of you guys out at the lake there's like five boats here and they're freaking piss pounding the bushes I digress. We're gonna go out and do that now and try to catch another freaking giant. There's, I think, giant, giant ones in here. Obviously, we first day here we caught a nine and a half and a ten. So, see if we can get another one of those. Oh god! Got him. On the drop. There's only about 15 more down there like him. A little bigger than I planned. Little four and a half pound guy. God, small mouth. <sighs> small mouth, but he's not a small mouth. Please don't hurt me. Doesn't happen very often. Another old pig on the A-Rig. All right. This just goes to show that um, they will eat this thing way up until the spawn, apparently, because we got fish that are on beds right now. These fish are in 50 feet of water, <laughs> suspended. So don't put stuff away or do stuff different because Bassmaster Magazine told you to do so. Get out and explore things for yourself. Didn't know what to expect when we came to this lake. Knowing that it was this time of year, which a lot of the country, half the country or so, is probably getting close to spawn or on spawn or done spawning. Craziness. That's her. I think that's a giant. Oh, not as big as I thought, but it's a giant. Fired right up off that tree. Mm -hmm. That's what it happens. It pulls drag when a fish pulls really hard. Cole didn't know that, so I just let him know. I mean, it's not a double digit, I don't think, but. Fired right off that tree. I didn't even see her in there. It's not there. <laughs> It's a big one. Oh, there's two! There's two! Oh my god, dude. dude. There's that two giants. Yeah, he had to. Uh, yeah. Dude, we gotta get these. Before. We gotta get these. This is insane. These are two giants. Two giants. It's gonna be so hard to keep them on. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> Look at that, dude. No way. Oh my god. You had the big one first, and the smaller one came and grabbed it too. Had to have. I am in disbelief. That is incredible. I hope my chest cam's on. I don't even know. Woo, I gotta take a picture of this. I haven't done this. I think I've done it once ever, but that's my biggest double I've ever had in my life. Holy crap, dude. I mean, that's like a seven and that's like a five. Mm -hmm. I mean, when he jumped, it was one. 
Yeah, it was because he left the, the water. One. It was the bigger one. That one's in his gill just a little bit. Oh man, that one's a freaking tank, dude. Woo hoo hoo! You bet. Please don't hurt me. Okay, I mean that's one cast. That's a five pounder. That's a seven pounder probably. Twelve pounds at one cast. I said I wanted a 12 pounder. I didn't mean like this, but that is incredible. Whew. What you know about that, Coleslaw? You bet! <laughs>